Today is your first day of your Lit Circles. If you haven't already looked at your reading schedule and activity list, you can find that on the homepage or the email I sent your parents last week. Each week, you are going to be assigned a new activity. You will have one week between all of your meetings to complete your reading and your activity. Your weekly activity is due before your meeting and completed assignments should be uploaded to your assignment tab in Teams, which I will go over with you today. All of the work is digital and can be completed in Word or Pages. Each Monday, we will post your activity and you can download it to your device and complete it on your device. If you prefer to print it out, you can, but you do not have to. If you do print it out, you'll have to take a photo of it and upload it to Teams. Let's look at our activities. The first activity we have is our vocabulary. This is based on the context clues work that we did last week. This is the only assignment that you will be working on for the entire lit circle. You're going to use this page to record any new words you come across or words where you are unsure of the meaning. How does it work? You just write down the word that you find and the page number. So I found the word defied and defiance on page two of Among the Hidden. Then you are going to make a prediction. So use context clues. What do you think it means? I think it means to go against the government. The sentences after and before talk about how the government is doing something to them and they have no choice. Then the next step, you're going to look it up and you can use an online dictionary. Open resistance or bold disobedience. Sometimes if you still don't understand the definition, when you look up the synonym, so other words for it, or antonyms, the opposite, it can help you understand the word a bit more. So let's look at opposition, confrontation, rebellion. Those are all other words I can use for defiance or defied. The opposite is to be calm, to have harmony or love. So the last thing is to use it in a new sentence. She defied the odds and became one of the world's best soccer players. Despite the initial defiance, students began to stay out of the school during lunch. Each time you come across a word that you're unsure of, you add it here. You may find that for the whole week, you have lots of words, and then the next week, you don't have very many words, and that's totally fine. You may find that you don't have many words at all. It just sort of varies depending on the person. So this one will be handed in at the very end of your lit circle. So on the last day where it says finish your reading, you would submit the vocabulary and the activity for that week. The other activity you're going to be starting today is making predictions. So here you, you will put the title of your novel and you can just type it in because it's a Word document or it should be able to open in pages. And then you're going to record what happened in the book this chapter. You're going to be doing these two boxes partway through your reading and this last box record what actually happened, whether your prediction was right or not, at the end of your first reading. So some of you are reading three chapters, some of you are reading six. So partway through your reading, let's say I was reading six chapters today, perhaps at chapter three, I would stop and I would do these two boxes. So record what happened in the book. So I'm going to explain what happened. A girl was taken from school. She was the youngest one yet, and this was something new. The kids were starting to feel worried. Matt is worried that he could be taken. He doesn't think he will because his parents would never go over the limit. So that is what is happening. Based on this, I'm going to make my prediction with evidence to support my thinking. I think more and more kids are going to be taken. Matt said they only took older kids, but suddenly they were taking younger kids. I think Matt's parents will overspend and go over their limit, but instead of taking Matt, they will take his sister. So I have information from the text here to support my opinion. My opinion is that more kids are going to be taken and his sister. The middle sentences are my supporting evidence. Then I would continue on reading the next three chapters, and when I have finished the reading, I will say what actually happened. Matt's family did go over the limit, but his sister wasn't taken. He was. So I was sort of right, more children would be taken, but I was a bit wrong because it wasn't the sister that was taken, it was Matt. Uh, when you are done this, you are going to save your file and upload it. 
How are you going to save your file? You need to, it's already been saved, so it already has a name, I think, called Making Predictions or just Predictions. You need to go to File, Save As, and then leave the name of the document, but add your name to the end. So, for instance, it already says Making Predictions, so I just added Pringle to the end. You would add whatever your name is. So you're going to go to, when you have your Word file open, you can see mine here, you're going to go File, you're going to not do save because that will just save it as the regular name. You want to rename it. So you're going to go save as, and then this is what should pop up. It may look different if you are on a different device and making predictions. And then I'm adding my name to the end. If you are on an iPad or an iPhone, you would just go back and tap on um, Right here where it says what the name is, you would just tap it and you'd be able to type over it. I don't know what this would look like on a non-Mac because I only know how to use Macs, but I'm sure there is a way for you to save as and rename your file. This is what the reading schedule looks like, or sorry, the meeting schedule. The giver number the stars. Your first assignment will do, be due next Tuesday. Normally, all of your assignments will be due on a Monday. However, next Monday is a holiday, and therefore there is no school. So your first assignment and meeting will be next Tuesday. After that, it will all be on Monday. Among the hidden, your meetings are always on Tuesday. A long walk to water and maze runner, your meetings are always going to be on Wednesday. And Hunger Games, you are meeting on Friday. So this is kind of an odd week because all of you are starting on the same day, but you have different due dates. Next week, the giver and number the stars will start reading two and activity two on Tuesday along with Among the Hidden. A Long Walk to Water and Maze Runner won't start their reading two or activity two until Wednesday and Hunger Games won't start their second reading or their second activity till Friday. But after that, Hunger Games will have a full week till their next meeting on the Friday. When you have finished your activities, I mentioned that you are going to be uploading your work to Teams. So after you have done the Save As and you've renamed your file so that it has your name in it as well as the activity, you need to sign into Teams, go to Assignments, then there's a button that says Add Work. Once you've added your work, you have to click off this thing that says Turned In. Otherwise, I don't believe it indicates to Ms. Eastwood and I that you have turned it in. Let's have a look at how we upload. So when you're ready to upload your assignment to Teams, this is what it should look like when you log in. There's two different ways that you can go about submitting your assignment. One of them is always in the general tab. Uh, you will see the assignments posted. However, as the week goes on and more and more things are added like meetings, this assignment will move further and further up the page. So you could come here and click View Assignment. Alternatively, you can go up here to the top bar where it says General Post Files Class Notebook and Assignments. If you click on Assignments, it will take you to all of your assignments. And some of you, this may look a bit different if you still have story assignments you're working on. You just click on your Lit Circle Assignment. You don't want to click Turned In yet. First, you need to go to My Work, Add Work. And you want to go to New File. So push New File here. Ignore this stuff. This would mean that you are going to create a Word document, but that's not what you're going to do. You want to upload an already completed one. So you're going to go down here where it says Upload from this device. No more than you of Doom. And then all of your files should show up. And here's mine. Making Predictions Pringle. I will open. And I, I'm going to wait for it to finish uploading. And I can click done. And the last thing I'm going to do, so your teachers know that it is complete, is I'm going to push turn in. Uh, and then if you want to change it, you can do the undo command it. But you want to make sure that you click turn in so that when the teacher has done it, say turned in until you click that little button and then that's it you are done if you go back you'll be able to see there's nothing assigned and you have one completed assignment hooray and then the next week you will find that the next assignment is here ready for you to turn in
you will find all of the assignments posted to the website. They won't be posted here. You need to get your file each week from the website, and when it's done, you can add it here to Teams.